Hello there, we're looking at paper one from the October 2020 series. Here we're looking at question seven. Figure one shows a sketch of curve C with equation Y equals F of X and a straight line L. The curve L meets the points of minus 213 and 0, 025. The shaded region R is bounded by C and L as shown in figure, figure one. Given that F of X is a quadratic function in X and minus 213 is the minimum point of F of X, use inequalities to define r. Okay, let's go for this straight line first, because we know the straight line goes through these two coordinates here, so let's work out the equation of that line first. So it's going to be a difference in y divided by a difference in x to work out the gradient first. It's going to be increasing by 12 on the y-axis and increasing by 2 on the x-axis, so it's going to be a gradient of 6. So therefore, y equals mx plus c is the equation of any straight line. We know specifically for this straight line that the gradient will be 6 and that it will go through the coordinates 0, 25, so therefore it has to have a y-intercept of 25. So the, gra the graph here, the line, is 6x plus 25. So we'll leave, park that on one side. Now we'll look at curve C. The minimum point is at minus 2, 13. So what I'm going to write here is actually I'm going to write it in completed the square form. So y equals a brackets x plus b squared um, plus c. This is any quadratic but written in completed the square form. Now I know that minus 2, 13 will be the... Um, will be the minimum point, so what that means for me is that I know that it's going to be x plus 2 squared inside my bracket and then plus 13 on the outside. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand these brackets, it's going to be ax squared plus 4ax plus 4a plus 13 and now I just need to identify that my graph will go through 0, 25 as well. So 25 equals 0 squared times a, that's 0. 4 times a times 0, that's 0. So equals 4a plus 13. So therefore, take away the 13 onto the other side and you get 12 equals 4a. So therefore, a equals 3. So therefore... The, the equation of the curve C, if we now plug it back into this one here for the value of A that we've just found, is 3x squared plus 12x plus 25. Okay, so now that we've got both equations, we now want to define this region by the set of inequalities. Now we want it to be less than the line, so it's going to be y is less than 6x plus 25, Actually, none of these lines are dotted, so it could be equal to 25 as well, so equal to the line as well. And uh, so and intersection, yeah, we'll just do an and, and then y needs to be more than the curved line, the y coordinate, so it's going to be more than or equal to 3x squared plus 12x plus 25. And there we are, this is the final answer for question 7 there, worth 5 marks in total there. Some Lots of work on working out uh, equations of lines and then writing it in inequality form. So there we are, that's the answer for question 7 there. Let's now move on to question 8.